guys, it's Kate here with somewhat of a different video for you today. So several months back, Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings did a video on fabulous book recommendations. And she said that she has a very specific niche of book that is like what she loves. And she hadn't really found any categories, but then slowly there's been this category coming out called fabulous and that is like exactly the kind of book that Mercedes likes and so then I was thinking about what is the specific kind of book that I like and this is a little bit of a follow-up to my bookish boxes video which I realized when I was thinking about the things that I like that I like romantic books and so several things are encompassed within the category of romantic one is that it's in the traditional sense of the word so think the Brontes, dramatic landscapes, really high intense emotions, escalated situations, things like that. Also in that umbrella though, I, I consider like picturesque locations and just beautiful things to look at. So intense emotions, intense locations, beautiful locations, kind of those things. So these are my, I started looking through my shelves and thinking about what are the romantic books that I like. So I have a whole list here because I really didn't feel like getting out like 40 books I think it is I have. So I'll just put up pictures and tell you guys about them. And the first one that I've been talking about recently is Sylvia's Lovers by Elizabeth Gaskell. Really romantic in that it is such an atmospheric setting. The writing is beautiful. There's dramatic landscape. The emotions are so intense and I absolutely love it. And it's like tragic beauty. I just love it. The next one is The 13th Tale, which I just recently read. And this is really fun if you like cozy book things. This definitely has a lot of that. There's a little bit of travel in it, but there's a very mysterious house and it's a nod to Victorian Gothic literature, which is really special. The next is, and I haven't officially hauled this, but I'll hold it up for the sake of this book, for the sake of this video. I'm very excited to show you. I got the Vintage Red Spine edition of The Enchanted April, and just this cover, though, I, it's so beautiful. So The Enchanted April takes place in Italy, but most of it starts out in, like, rainy spring England, and... Then they go to Italy where it's beautiful and I just love it. I love the glamorous settings that are in it. And it also has a fair amount of charm to it, which isn't as romantic, but I'm just putting in this in this like such a Kate book category. The next one is uh, The Woodlanders by Thomas Hardy. Very romantic and just all of the beautiful descriptions of nature. Then one of the most romantic books ever would be Jane Eyre such a like mystery to the house that Jane comes to and such an atmosphere and just beautiful lush writing and I love it. Uh, next is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier which is still my favorite du Maurier yet and if you have not read Daphne du Maurier but you like really like gothic atmospheric writing she is your girl you need to check her out and then following that up really similar is Mary Stewart who I don't know why not as many people talk about her, but I read Nine Coaches Waiting by Her and it felt very similar to Daphne du Maurier, but super, super fun. And I'm definitely going to be reading more Mary Stewart. Uh, the next one is Wuthering Heights. I don't think it gets more romantic than Wuthering Heights. And I definitely don't mean in the sense that we use romance today. It is not your classic love story. It's not a love story. It's about screwed up people and the bad choices that they make. But the way it is written is amazing, and I think I'm definitely due for a reread of it in the near future. The next is Sense and Sensibility and Persuasion. I'm just putting two Jane Austen in there, and those, I think, are the two most romantic. Uh, Persuasion is about second chances and is just beautiful. This couple, um, what you know, are they going to get together? Or are they not? And then Sense and Sensibility are these two sisters who are such opposites and are just put in really tough circumstances, but how they can still survive and flourish. Uh, the Elliot Family Trilogy by Elizabeth Gouge. It's got the beautiful descriptions of nature. It's got the beautiful houses and it's got people having really intense relationships. And I love that. Uh, Great Expectations. I definitely think Charles Dickens' most romantic one that I've read thus far. It definitely feels very gothic. My mother's, my mother's 
My Father's Glory at My Mother's Castle by Marcel Pagnol. This is about the summers he spent in Provence, and it has beautiful descriptions of nature, which I absolutely love, as you can tell. Anne of Green Gables, just... Yes, Anne of Green Gables. Um, then two mystery authors who I think their writing is very romantic, very atmospheric, and that is Ruth Rendell and Elizabeth George. Ruth Rendell has the Inspector Wexford series that I talk about all the time, and she just has wonderful writing and is really good at zoning in on everyday events and making them seem significant, like the kind of coffee that he's drinking or the house that they drive by that has a cat sitting in the window, just the way she writes it. And the same thing with Elizabeth George, but Elizabeth George often has more intense atmospheric settings, like one is in Scotland in an old manor, which is really awesome. Um, Death and Holy Orders by P.D. James. This takes place in a seaside all-boys Anglican school, and P.D. James' writing in that is just amazing. Um, the Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake by Amy Bender. I read this per Mercedes recommendation a couple years ago, and it has really stayed with me. And something about how it zones in on moments and shows the significance of different moments. And just there was some really, some, there's just a really special atmosphere to that book that's really hard for me to put my finger on. And I'll definitely be rereading it at some point in the future. Um, a Room with a View by E.M. Forster. This is the only Forster I've read, but I love it. I love Lucy Honeychurch traveling to England. And another thing that I think is like a thing I like is the humor in modern classics. They really pack a punch with their humor. And this definitely has some wonderful humor. Uh, let's see. The next one is, oh, Christmas at Fair Acre by Miss Reed. These are really charming, cozy Christmas books. If you're looking for a well-written um, but super cozy and charming Christmas book. Check out Miss Reed. The Christmas Mouse and No Holly for Miss Quinn are so lovely and, like I said, really well written, but just I can read them in a matter of a couple hours, and I like to read them every year, and they're lovely, and they're just like getting a, a huge, nice, warm afghan over you, and I love them. North and South, I think that is another really romantic Elizabeth Gaskell. It's set in a mill town a dreary mill town in the north and all of the fields in this one are just lovely um gone with the wind boy some crack goes down in that book and it's so wonderful scarlett o'hara is a wonderful anti-hero you will love to hate her um but she's a tough lady all creatures great and small so much to love about these books they're so cozy they have beautiful, beautiful landscape to be in, but lots of humor and heart that I love. Um, and I swear, I know I just read them this summer, but just talking about them now makes me want to reread them all over again. Atonement by Ian McEwen. You've heard me talk about that book quite a bit, but I think there's a lot to be said for it. The Narrow Corner by W. Somerset Mom. I think this might be my favorite W. Somerset Mom, which I haven't been reading him as much as of late, but he is one of my favorite authors, and there are so many. They go to this mysterious island. It's a tale at sea, and they go to a mysterious island, and the way he writes about this kind of essence and aura that's on the island is beautiful. Uh, the Great Hunt, which is the first in the Wheel of Time series. I think if you really want, like, oh, I just love how different his world feels from ours. And I just, it feels so different and magical and just so unearthly. My Family and Other Animals by Gerald Durrell. It has the beautiful writing that's so great, but it's very fast paced and it's set in the Greek island of Corfu. It's lovely. The Shell Seekers and Coming Home by Rosamund Pilcher. Those two are really great because you get swept away by the landscape. Some are in Scotland, some are in Cornwall in England, and she just has such a way of bringing you into that world and making you fall in love with so many of these characters. And it's just really great fiction about relationships, but where the writing is like super quality. I love Rosamund Pilcher. Uh, Wild Strawberries by Angela Thurkle. Angela Thurkle has very charming, cozy books. And Wild Strawberries especially, I think, is my favorite out of the Bar Citra series. So that's one where it's just got the picturesque, like, English uh, locations, but the really hilarious, like, modern classic humor. And I love her for it. Let's see. Uh, Giant by Edna Ferber. This is a book I have, I read 
prior to having the channel, so I haven't mentioned it as much, but it is one of my favorite books, and it talks about this um, ranch that's in Texas, and a family that owns the ranch, and all of the, like, um, crazy things that are happening in the economy at that time, and you get to see the family grow, and it's just wonderful, and just big sweeping portrayal of life in Texas at this time. Then uh, I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I love it, and it's just uh, something about the writing that I think is so special, and Another thing that makes it romantic is that it's in a like decaying castle and there's also a scene where they are swimming in a moat around the castle in the middle of the night and they're watching the moon and the stars and it's frigid and that passage has always stayed with me. So I Capture the Castle is definitely a romantic book. So that was kind of a random video but I just felt inspired to do it and something you can consult if you're looking for romantic book recommendations if you like the kind of books that I like. And I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you for another video soon. Bye.